Hi hey guys, I wanted to do a video further elaborating on a video I did on a craft channel based on inspiration, gratitude and creativity with regards to using fictional characters or um, the likes in your practice. Now, for me, I do a thing called gratitude candles, which is said artist, writer, poet, musician, um, painter, that type of thing. And I home in on the aspect of said person or people and I do a gratitude candle. Now a lot of these people are past, some aren't, but the ones that are past I kind of handle, excuse me, I need to adjust this, I tackle in a slightly more delicate way than I do those who are still um, on this mortal coil because people that are still around um, who haven't passed you are honouring their creative talents still and uh, taking inspiration and um, artistic connections and all sorts from them of things they've created in the past but things they're creating in the now or the recent uh, times Whereas people that you're honouring that um, have already passed, you you are giving thanks and gratitude for what they created and what they shared in their lifetime while on this mortal coil. So you've got artists, musicians, writers, uh, people who have created amazing things in their time. Um, so in this instance I want to mention the candle I've got here. Um, I won't mention his name because YouTube can be a pain for copywriting and everything at the moment but for those of you who know who this artist is this symbol should give it away who I'm talking about. Now this person had multiple faceted personas um, that he created in his uh, workmanship with regards to his music, his lyrics, his videos and how he came across um, like visually. He he broke a lot, down a lot of barriers and boundaries with regards to uh, creativity, with regards to being different and being yourself and that type of thing and he thought outside the box a lot and he created many personas in his career based on the type of music he chose to do at that time and how he chose to um, create that persona visually. So when I do candles to give thanks and gratitude for everything that he offered the world uh, to me personally as a creator and craftsman and a uh, talented person. I sometimes do basic candles like this which are, are very symbolic of an album he did and also to honour the man himself. Uh, However, I have also bought candles like 70 candles or jad candles and used them up and made them really creative and out there and um, one could be really one way directed, the other could be completely another way directed uh, to honour uh, him and the creative journey he went on throughout his lifetime and took us all on too. So. This actual candle is one of the more less elaborate ones, but still just as amazing.
with regards to what it represents. So he was a big inspiration. There's many, many people that I do the same with, Candle Wise, for example, um, other people who have passed that I do the same thing in candle representation for the likes of is um, older artists that like passed be well before um, I was born, some passed when I was young so I don't physically remember them, physically seeing them on TV or anything like that. Some are died in my adulthood, like people like um, Jim Henson, creator of the Muppets and Fraggle Rock and uh, Labyrinth and the Dark Crystal. Um, so when honouring and giving thanks to these people, you've got so much scope. Like Jim Henson was a very colourful, creative person. He created things like the Dark Crystal, which was a whimsical, magical, quite spiritual world that I obviously I didn't know that when I was young. And, you know, he created beautiful, magical, amazing worlds that drew me in as a youngster and an adult. And I give thanks to him for that because he awakened the creative spark in me, in my brain, in my being when I was younger. I saw all these creatures and puppets and characters and worlds and thought, oh my gosh, uh, it was like somebody had taken something out of my mind and put it like in front of me. All these creative things. I thought, oh my gosh, somebody else thinks like that as well. It's not just me. And obviously he had the ability to take his craft and take his passion and take his talent and do what he did with it. So, you know, you could go down many different routes with regards to creativity. Uh, inspirationally, uh, with candle uh, adornment with making your own candles using up candles you buy um making your own tea lights or votives um dressing certain candles or anointing certain candles with stuff like inspirational oil or creativity oil or um that type of thing uh I also feel that, like, you know, if you're having a bad day and you need that inspirational boost, sometimes lighting a candle that you have crafted or that you have put together or anointed or juiced up or whatever for said person, such as Jim Henson, for example, it may give you that creative boost you need because you associate that candle with creativity and with all the things that that person reminds you of. Um, you know, creativity and magical worlds and being teleported from the everyday mundane world into a magical make-believe world. And basically, I'm going to light these tea lights while I'm talking to you. You know, it's like, it's one of those things that you're born with that kind of talent or you're not. With regards to somebody like Jim Henson. And that being said... Um, it can be an amazing thing, it can be an amazing starting point. Like if anybody is just getting into um, even being creative, witchcraft aside, these can be amazing starting points. You know, you don't have to um, be connected with a deity, you do not have to be connected with a... Um, a uh, spiritual god or goddess you can just take inspiration from the things that you love and know and the things that you have grown up with and the things that you enjoy and the things that have brought about um, happiness transformation um Just that sense of warmth and comfort that you had the first time you came across um, said artists or performers or storytellers or that type of thing. 
like I say, for me, um, Jim Henson was that person. You know, like, when you come across somebody like that, um, you know, on TV, in a book, a DVD or video, it just makes you think, like, oh my gosh, there's people out there that actually kind of have the same passions, like, you know, they want to, like, share these creative worlds that they um, come up with for their viewers and readers to take a lot of um, happiness and joy away from. So, you know, witchcraft and spirituality and everything, you can incorporate all this into your practice because what you visually see as um, something that gives you that lift when you're down or um, helps you to connect with the creative aspect of yourself where you want to tap into that creativity. And again, not to be mistaken for tapping into said person's energies, I mean tapping into the part of yourself that creates and that is connected in with the creativity of this individual or people that you have taken such inspiration and love from. So I just wanted to share that because I felt like, you know, it's just one of those things that, you know, there isn't really black and white with it. It's like you can, you can go down any route that you like with that because it's your path, it's your journey, it's your loves, it's your passions, it's your childhood or your adulthood or your memories and you're merging them all together to come up with something that makes you feel all these different array of emotions, all these different array of bringing about all these different arrays of memories from yesteryear, from like I say childhood or into adulthood or there may be certain things that happened in your life that you pinpoint and can remember like you know how if you hear a song and it brings back a memory so that type of a thing same with um you know people like I say like Jim Henson or artists such as Shunk Man here and um also other artists such as um person, uh, a well-known Icelandic singer that I have made a similar vessel with, which I'll try and show you in a minute, with regards to all the things that when I first heard and saw her as an artist, as a person, I connected in with and was inspired by the unusual sound she has as a singer, the way she thinks her intellect, the way she breaks down a lot of things, how she uses the sometimes mundane and everyday things, uh, nature, um, you know, uh, sounds that she throws together to make um, a particular tone that she may want to create in a song. Um, she's done uh, things like uh, an app where you can learn from uh, to help, particularly with um, students, home in on certain things and make them not boring and interactive and fun. Um, anyway, I'll try and show you this in a second, uh, what, who I'm talking about. Uh, but I just wanted to share this video to say creativity is an amazing thing, it's a unique thing, it is it's something that makes us individuals and 
makes the little things much more interesting and sparks individuality and sparks that little crafty creative thing in your mind. Anyway, I'll try and show you this, what I'm talking about. Hang on a sec. 